live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering Dell EMC World 2017. Brought to you by Dell EMC. And welcome here on theCUBE to Dell EMC World 2017, live from the Sands Expo, along with Keith Allison, I'm John Walls, and good to have you with us here on day three of what has been a fantastic show here for Dell EMC. Uh, mega show, 13,000 plus attendees, a lot of great announcements, and a lot of great guests we've had here on theCUBE. One of them joining us now, John Byrne, who's the president of uh, Dell EMC Global Channels, and a cover boy, I might add, this month's edition of CRN. John, <laughs> you should have been in pictures, man. You look great on the cover, so congratulations on that Thank big news. Much. Good to have you with us here on theCUBE, and um, uh, tell us about what, you know, your journey here in the past couple of months. You launched the Partners Program, you bring Dell on one hand, you bring EMC on the other, you bring it all together. How's it going so far? Look, it's, uh, the reaction has been spectacular. You know, almost extraordinary. Uh, when you think of our channel business now, our channel business is some $35 billion. Uh, when you frame that, that's bigger than Facebook, bigger than Starbucks, mm -hmm. bigger than Nike, growing faster than, the, growing faster than the market, the broadest portfolio and everything you, you hear is talking about, we want to be number one of everything all in one place. And we have this wonderful partner ecosystem that is primed and ready to take advantage of this opportunity. So, you know, we stood up a brand new team, a new strategy, new program, and our, our partners couldn't be more excited. The program was launched based on three tenets, being simple, predictable, profitable, and uh, you know, we're very, very pleased and very humbled with the momentum we've had. And look, uh, this has been built for our partner, but actually it's been built with our partner community in mind. And they can, they can feel this, and look, we're on a, a tremendous journey, super exciting. Exciting. Yeah, I like the fact too that I mean, you make no bones about it. Profitable is not a dirty word, right? It's a very good word and a very real word. Um, but I want to back up to a minute. You said new strategy. Mm. So you've been a channel guy basically your whole professional life. Mm. Um, what experiences did you bring from that into this endeavor that you think have, have given it its, uh, its own stamp or its own unique distinction? Yeah, look, I, I remember running my own channel companies as if it was yesterday. And uh, I remember we always, I always had choices. And, and I wanted to work with people uh, who were going to win and people who you wanted to work with. So when we traveled the world to find out like, what did the partners like about Heritage Dell, Heritage EMC, what did they not like, what was, and more importantly, what was the best of breeding the planet, they were very consistent on uh, three things. They wanted the program to be very simple an annual program, take advantage of EMC's world-class training capability, uh, take cost and friction out of my selling motion, i.e. one portal, one deal registration, automation of rebates so I can see every week what have I sold, what am I earning? Because I remember when I ran my own company, I wanted to continually invest in the skill sets and the certification, but more importantly, on the people. So having that, that consistency was something that came, th came through loud and clear. Predictability of engagement. You know, ultimately, where do we want our channel partners to, to play? And how will we protect their investment, uh, knowing that they have choices? And uh, we spend a lot of time on our deal registration. The third thing is, you're talking to a Scotsman, and profit is important. So, uh, you Scotsman, know. Scotsman, I thought it was a Texas accent. I wasn't sure there was Honestly, you sound like my father <laughs> talking about my accent, John and Keith. Um, but we, we, you know, we, we invested significantly in, it, in marketing development funds. Uh, we invested significantly in the rebate program, and our partners now can make anywhere between 1.5x to eight times what they made historically based on the right behavior. So, so bringing my, my background, the knowledge, um, those three things are critical, what we're doing, and of course, look, our differentiation is going to be on execution, and the team is making great progress. So John, a lot of the angst and excitement, rather, between the merger of Dell EMC was with the channel. What was going to happen with the channel? What was going to happen with the channel? You guys have seemingly executed, seamlessly, rather, but a question around the relationship with the channel, one throat to choke versus the competition. The competition is shrinking, getting smaller, getting less complex is the, is the 
marketing term, how has the channel reacted to the new size of Dell EMC versus the competition shrinking? Yeah, that's a great question to ask them. That's the biggest endorsement that we could possibly have. Uh, of course there was concern at, at the very beginning. They, they didn't know what was going to be the strategy. Both, pro, both companies had done phenomenally well on the channel, but whilst the, the strategies look similar, they're actually very different in detail. When you think uh, Dell had many thousands of partners, EMC had hundreds of partners, the criteria on EMC's program from a revenue perspective is significantly more than it was in Dell. So a lot of concern. Look, the first thing we did, Keith, is look, uh, I pride ourselves and we pride ourselves on having big ears and uh, we traveled the world. We traveled the world and we listened. And then we came together very quickly. I think we only were born in September 16. Four weeks later, we announced, here's our, here's our vision, here's our strategy, here's the team, here's the program, we're going to be implementing in February, and we over-communicated with our partners. And as we were building this, they were tweaking this and tweaking this. And uh, it's amazing, uh, you, you think now, we came together as one go-to-market motion in February, we've had 90 days under our belt. Look, when I look at the leading indicators, how's the numbers? How's pipeline? How's our training? How's our certifications? How's our services capability? How's our acquisition? And uh, when I start to see those scoreboards light up green, the partners can see line of sight to it. The feedback from the partners is, look, uh, they cannot believe that at a 35 billion channel business, moving at this speed together and executing the way we are as one team is uh, it's taking a lot of the noise out of the system and they can see line of sight to money. So wait, I want to drill down on that a bit. $35 billion channel business. Hmm. Next biggest competitor is I think a company called HPE. <laughs> Their market cap is only 30 billion compared to your revenues. What's the significance of that from a customer and channel perspective? Look, uh, it's not for me to talk about the competition. You know, I think when I look at the hand that we have, I think Michael taking us private, allowing us to invest significantly in the future uh, has helped us greatly. I think us spending $4.5 billion on R&D, which is double, the competitor you just mentioned, to allow us to have a product portfolio that dominates Gartner's magic quadrants, uh, to allow us to invest in the, in the business. Look, uh, this is only going to go one way. However, I want to be very clear, we're the dark horse. <laughs> Don't let a 35 billion scare people. Like, we only have low double digit share, but with the portfolio, with the partner community, with the program, like this is going to be like a skyrocket, yeah. and the partners can feel it. So on that, yeah, I mean, you bring dark horse. I, we all know that the conventional definition of dark horse, right? Long shot, no shot. Um, but at 35 billion, it's pretty hard to fly under the radar, honestly, right, John? Um, yes, it is. <laughs> it is. Um, but I also want to clear, look, we have big visions. We have big dreams. We want to be the number one channel player in the industry. We want to be the number one, the biggest and, and the best. Not the best, not the biggest, not the biggest, not the best. We want to be the biggest and the best. When we're talking to our partners right now, like we've had them here, would you believe there's been four and a half thousand partners here this week? We had a global partner summit. It was standing room only with the four and a half thousand. Actually, we had to go overflow rooms to get our partners coming in here. And those partners are feeding back to us. I'm almost scared to mention a number, how big this could be, but a discussion we're having with the partners is not how do we grow up market or how do we grow a a little bit above market. The discussion with the partners is how do we double? So with that said, Michael has talked an awful lot about the small overlap between Dell, Dell and, and EMC, 20%, only 20% overlap. Has the channel realized new opportunity because of that limited overlap? Uh, look, I, again, the leading indicator is look, we ask our partners for four things as we build this program, and it's, and it's a rich program and intentionally done so. We ask them for four things. We want you to grow your top line. We want to be aggressive and attack the market. However, I also want them to make a lot of money. Profit is important uh, from our company to the partner community to the distributors. The second thing is we want them to sell much more of our portfolio. You've heard, I'm sure, over the past couple of days, the four transformations, building out the modern data center. Our partners have the capability to sell much more lines of business than they are today. The third thing is we want to be aggressive and acquire new customers, acquire new lines of business. And then also, look, attach services. 
Look, we spend a lot of time talking about hardware, but you're also hearing us talking about our services capability. That is a pot of gold for our partners. If they do this, it's going to light up. So does our partner see this opportunity? Are they leaning in? Are they getting more training, more certifications? Oh, absolutely. So let's talk about training, because that's a critical part. Dell EMC is mind-bogglingly huge. So when I'm a channel, if, if I'm a channel engineer, and I look at the portfolio and I go into a customer site, how do I wrap my arms around just the size of it? I'm not in the mothership of Dell and EMC. I don't have all of the, well in theory, I don't have all of the back channels to the solutions. How do we keep, the, how do you keep the channel up to speed? Yeah, great question. Actually, I'll, I'll give you some data points. Would you believe that at, at, at Dell Technologies, we have 40,000 sales makers who are trained and certified to sell our portfolio? That's quite a startling number, right? Yes. However, when you look at our partner community, who also do the same training and certification, we have 129,000 people trained in our partner community. That is a sales army of 169,000 people trained and certified to go and attack, not only today, but attack the future transformations. So what we've done is we've, we've basically the training that our own team does, our partners do. We've also centralized all of our training. It's all in one portal clearly articulating, if you want to go by product, here's it by product, if you want to go by transformation, here's it by transformation, you want to do it by services, here's the services. And uh, look, I think the other thing they're finding is, look, it has real equity to the person doing the training. You know, it's, it's developing their career. You go to the LinkedIn, the right amazing. We are Dell EMC certified trainers. Mm -hmm. That is exciting to sell the broadest portfolio on the planet. So this is a, a, a program you launched uh, early February, right? Yeah. Um, so you said 90 days in. With any new program though, you're going to hit speed bumps along the way, right? You're going to find some wrinkles, you're going to find some things you need to put on. What, what would that be in your mind? You said, okay, this is something, it's all going well in one respect and it sounds great, but there, there is some polish that we still need. Where would that be right oh, no now? No question, look, look, are you kidding me? 90 days in, right. look at what the team and the partner community have done in 90 days is extraordinary. I mean, truly, truly extraordinary. However, they recognize we're going at tectonic speeds, but we have to. The channel is nimble, it's agile, it's got a different pulse, it's got a different a different heartbeat, and uh, but we're being very authentic on the journey. So when we brought the four and a half thousand, we spoke about, look at some of the wins that are already in the board. And I'm, I'm telling you, look, we could have spent the full 90 minutes just talking about the wins that we found in the first 90 days. The program has launched fantastically well, but we've had bumps in the road. And our partner, but our partners understand that because we're being very authentic. And uh, you know, we, we, they're, they're part of the team. They're part, they're part of the family. What will define us is not that we're going to make mistakes. We will make mistakes. In life you make mistakes. In business you make mistakes. What will define us is how we react to those mistakes. Are we always there? Are we being true to our commitment? Are we staying very consistent? And um, the feedback from the partner community has been yes. And the, the progress we're making. And look, we're, we're, by, we're definitely not done. I mean, you think 90 days in, then fast forward, we announced purchase stream coming into the program. We spoke about consumption models coming in, flex on demand, cloud flex, PC as a service, VDI complete. Like they also asked us to simplify our MDF guidelines. Done. So you know we're moving at the speed of light, and uh, it is a lot of fun. Well, it makes sense. I mean, easy, simple, predictable, profitable, and um, I think you've, you've certainly hit a home run with with that mantra, and obviously with the program as well. So congratulations on that. And Thank you. Thanks for being with us here on the Cube. My pleasure. John. It's always nice to add a different accent, don't you think? Nice to see. You? Yeah. Thank you very much, John Byrne from uh, Global Channels at Dell EMC, and we'll be back with more from Dell EMC World 2017, live in Las Vegas, right after this.